that you seem to be siding with African dictators more than the African people. Well, you know what? I will say that in the past, that was America's policies. Uh, and that's why we get it past that. So we owe a debt. In the past, when you were talking about the Cold War, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. uh, it was. America was more focused at that particular time on trying to protect itself from quote-unquote communism uh, that it upheld and put up some of the most vicious dictators of our time. Uh, and, uh, and, and it is the root cause still of some of the problems that the continents had along with how colonialism divided up the continent to make it so that we were at one another's throats. But now we are in a post-Cold um, uh, War period, and now for the first time you have more members of the Congressional Black Caucus than you've had ever. And so that's why you see the focus. A goal would never have been here but for the Congressional Black Caucus. Mm -hmm. you, won't, you wouldn't have seen the Millennium Challenge but for the Congressional Black Caucus. So here's a, way, a ways that we're trying, electrifying Africa, if it wasn't for the Congressional Black Caucus and the fact that finally America has made some progress by electing a president who looks like us, <laughs> you know? And so that's progress that we've had to make in America, because America for a long time, we were second-class citizens, those of us who still lived here, and that's why many still tried to escape to Liberia because they didn't have the respect here in this country. So, but, you know, don't think that we don't know, especially those in the Congressional Black Caucus, that for a long period of time they say there was a democracy, but it wasn't a true democracy here. And so they did certain things that favored, uh, uh, favored themselves, and we're trying to correct those wrongs now.